Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll take a look at everything that's brand new so far in Android 13. So this one is Android 13 Beta 1, and there has been two previous versions before this, which were the developer previews, and those were released in February and March. And starting here this month in April, you're able to get this one downloaded. I'll place a link below the video inside the description if you guys would like to sign up and get enrolled in Beta 1 if you own a Google Pixel 4 or after. So right now, this one is released here in April, so this is beta 1, beta 2 will come out in May, beta 3 is June, and then the fourth beta 4, which should be the most stable out of all the betas, will be July, and then the final release will be right after that in August, September. So there will be four betas. If you're not interested in the first one, then you'd still be able to sign up in May, June, or July. Now, all you'd have to do if you want to sign up for this one is I will be placing this link right here below the video inside the description. You can just tap on devices. It's going to let you know which devices are eligible. A few things to know before you enroll. And then this is your eligible devices that again is linked with your Gmail account. So down here, you can see which devices are eligible. I did choose for my Pixel 6 Pro to opt in. And then basically once you opt in, it's going to just basically send the over the air update to that device you have chosen. And then if at any point in time you wanna opt out, you still can opt out. So today we're gonna to talk about everything that's brand new that is big and also small. So the first change we'll take a look at will be the UI of the music player that you're listening to. So for example, I use YouTube Music. You may use Spotify or Amazon Music or anything like that. Now, originally it's always a straight line of what you've already progressed through and then also what is left. So when you take a look inside of your notifications panel and you take a look at your little music widget on the top, you'll see the squiggly lines moving from what you have already listened to. And it's just a really nice subtle change, but it's one of those that also looks really good. And it also looks the same here on your lock screen. So when you take a look again at your music widget, if you're listening to music, you will now have squiggly lines of what you have progressed through and then a straight line of what you still have left. The second change is one that is very beneficial. It's kind of like an added tool when it comes down to copy and paste, and that is with inside of your clipboard. So let's say that you wanted to send something to somebody. A lot of times you may want to take something from an article or something that just happened. You'd be able to hit on copy. Now on the bottom, it will show you this little screenshot like type image on the bottom, and you have this edit button. And from there, you can actually add in more than what is already copied and pasted. So maybe you wanted to grab something from an article and then then you wanted to maybe give a date or something like that. So let's say, you know, uh, you know, April, 29th, you know, whatever the case. And so now this will be the one that has been copied. It's been edited. You grabbed what you needed. You added more in it's in the clipboard. And now you'd be able to go inside of your messenger inside of messages, wherever you may be and send that off. The third update is dealing with material U, and that is giving you more options, more colors, and there's quite a bit more than what you had from before. So first off, if you wanted to change your material U, you just have to press and hold anywhere on the screen that's empty, go to wallpaper and style. Then as you scroll down, these are the color palettes that you'd be able to choose. And there's three colors, you know, with each of these here uh, that will accent each other well with what you have chosen as your wallpaper. But here you can see underneath the wallpaper colors, you have four options for more four more and four more. You have a total of 16 different colors that you can choose for material you that is based on your wallpaper colors, which is a massive increase versus the original four options you had with wallpaper colors. And the same thing goes with basic colors. Originally, you only had four underneath wallpaper colors. You also only had four underneath basic. And here you go. You have a total of 16 colors in both categories. And then if you want to scroll down, take a look at what is rest on the screen. If you're curious, you do have the option still now to apply everything inside of dark mode uh, or dark theme. You also have the themed icons. So if you want your icons to change, you can use a themed icon, you know, based on the theme of your phone. But I kind of like just keeping everything simple, basic, uh, everyday icons right there just to make it quicker for me. And then also your app grid. Update number four is inside of the application tray. And I believe that this one was maybe a mistake. I think that they'll actually revert back into what they were originally using, which was the pixel search. And so this used to be a search bar that you're able to search anything, you know, with inside of your pixel, but now it's just a regular everyday Google search bar widget. So you got one down here on the home screen. It, it operates the exact same as up here. You can still search for applications if you want to, or if you type in the word Instagram, you know, it's still going to show up towards the bottom, but you're going to also have Google searches on top. So I believe that this one might be something that will maybe not stay there. I think that they should move back to the original pixel search as you have your Google search 
search bar right over here. The next update will be dealing with controlling your smart home through the lock screen. So originally on your Google Pixel, you'd have to unlock your phone in order for you to control anything inside of your smart home controls. So right there on the very bottom left hand side, you see this little home icon. So now you, if you have any type of smart home devices connected, you are able to control them through the lock screen without having to unlock your phone. Now for me, I don't have too many Google things or a lot of smart home devices connected through Google. I have it connected through my Samsung ecosystem, through the Amazon Alexas, things like that. So if you are somebody who has a bunch of things connected through your Google Home you know, smart controls, you can now do it through the lock screen. The next update is one that's more of a hint, but I believe it should be one that is added in, I hope in the near future, because I believe every single smartphone should have the ability to do face unlock. So if you own a Pixel phone lately, you've noticed that there is no face unlock, but if you do go through and you actually uh, type in face unlock, or if you, if you type in the word face, you're gonna see an option here that is something that is definitely promising. So right here on Android 13, you type in face unlock, you'll have a couple options that do pop up. And so if you tap there, it's just gonna take you into advanced settings. There is really nothing to show, but the thing is, is if you take a look over inside of Android 12, again on a pixel, if you type in face unlock, here you can see that nothing shows up or pops up. There was no hints, no options, no you know green lit opportunity of face unlock to happen on a pixel. But here on Android 13, it was at least added into the code. So hopefully that will soon be added in. Now for the last two, I will be keeping both of these phones out because I do want to show you the differences between Android 13 and Android 12. So when you take a look, both of these phones are on silent mode. If we go inside of more options, we hit on settings. On Android 12, if you were in silent, you were not able to have any you know, settings or options when it comes down to vibrations, haptics, feedbacks, things like that. So this one's just been grayed out. There's really nothing you can do, again, because the phone is set on silent. But on Android 13, you can now go inside of your vibrations and haptics. You can either turn it off. You can also turn these things on, as well as go down here and you can change these options here for the alarm vibration, touch feedback, and media vibration. Now this last one is very, very small and subtle, but when you pull down your notifications panel twice to see your brightness, to see your quick settings, also the power menu and settings menu, it has now been moved over here on Android 13. So instead of the scrolling icon and information on the top, it is now going to be on the bottom. Also, instead of it, you know, the power menu and settings menu, instead of it being in the middle of the screen, it's gonna be moved down over into the bottom right hand side, maybe a little bit easier to access with your right thumb. So these have been all of the changes, big and small, when it comes down to Android 13 versus Android 12. Again, if you guys are interested in downloading and getting inside of this beta program, I'll place the link below the video inside the description. It'll take you there. You'll see your eligible devices. You're able to log in, opt in, things like that. You're good to go. And it'll be pushed to your phone with over the air update. I received mine within about three or four minutes. And so far, I have not ran into any bugs, any issues. So if you had a problem you know, or an issue with running into problems. So far, I haven't seen any, and I've been running this for the last two or three days. If you don't feel comfortable with it, with beta one, you can just wait till next month when beta two comes out. But hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side, right over here. And if you appreciate this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. <laughs>